Did you know you can learn Levantine Arabic for less than $10 a month? Head over to nasmafny.com to learn more. This supplemental video is for Lesson 3, Section B from our first book, Ya Ahla wa Sahla. What is genitive construction? Two things to keep in mind. There are two nouns next to each other. And the best way to think about it is when you put it in the of form. What do I mean by the of form? Let's take an example. John's book. John's book becomes Book of John. Now let's translate that to Arabic. Becomes Kitab John. Let's take a look at another example. School bus. Put it in the of form. Bus of school. In an Arabic that translates to Bus al Madrasi. Another example. Starbucks coffee. Coffee of Starbucks. I have to put it in the of form. That becomes Ahwit Starbucks. You might be wondering, why did I pronounce the T in Ahwe? What happened to my AH? Simply because my first noun, which is Ahwe, is feminine, I have to replace the AH with a T. And there's also another reason we spoke about in our previous episodes when you add suffixes to nouns. Let's focus on the first noun. When you have two nouns next to each other and the first noun is feminine, you replace the AH or EH with a T. Example, works car. Car of work. Now let's translate that. Siyarit shughul because siyara is feminine. I remove the EH and replace it with a T. Another example, family picture. Picture of family becomes surat aile for the same reason because sura is feminine. I remove the AH and put a T instead. The second rule is when you add suffixes to nouns. And we also discussed that in our previous episodes. Let's take an example, just to refresh our mind on that. Let's say I want to conjugate siyara. I want to add suffix pronoun. Your car masculine, siyartak. Your car feminine, siyartik. And your car plural, siyaritkon. Notice how I put a T? If you need to understand that more, watch episode 23. Now let's get back to gentive construction and talk about sentence structure of gentive construction. Where do my demonstrative come? Where does my adjective come? Let's take an example. Work car. Siyarit shughul. Again, don't forget we pronounce the T because the first noun is feminine. Let's say I want to say this is the work car. Do I say hayda or hayde? Hayde. Look at your first noun. Your first noun determines the gender of your sentence. Siyara is feminine, so I definitely choose Heide. Now let's say I want to introduce an adjective to my sentence. Let's say I want to say new. Do I say Jdid or Jdide? Definitely Jdide for the same reason. We have here an important rule that we have to keep in mind. Always look at your first noun if you have gentive construction. Your first noun determines the gender of your sentence. If your first noun is feminine, then your demonstrative and adjective must also be feminine. Then what is the rule of my second noun? Your second noun will only carry the possession. So if you have any possession in your sentence, your second noun will take that possession. Example, this is my new work car. I have my. My is going to be carried by shughul. So now I have a sentence that translates to هيدي سيارة شغلي جديدة. Notice how the E went to شغلي. Another example. This is my friend's house. Put it in the off form. This is the house of my friend. Ask yourself the question, what's my first noun? House, which is bit, and that's masculine. That's why I said, hey, the bit, refi'i. Look at your second noun. You will see that the second noun took 
my. Another example. This is his family picture. Heidi Sura Taelto. My first noun is feminine, Sura. That's why I said Heidi. Because my first noun is feminine, my demonstrative is going to be feminine. Where did his go? On the second noun, and that's why it's Taelto. Another example. This is her old school friend. Assuming a friend is masculine, friend is Rafiq. So my sentence translates to Hey, the Rafi, Madraste, Adim. My first noun is masculine. My demonstrative and adjective are also masculine. And who took my possession? My second noun took the possession. Her. Always remember, your first noun determines the gender of your sentence. Your second noun carries the possession. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you understand.